Now, a few weeks ago, one of my subscribers asked for a remedy for dry skin. She have dry skin. Her skin also have hyperpigmentation. She also have blackheads and whitehead on the skin. And I'm going to insert the picture right here. Now, I recommend this remedy for her. This is an anti-aging remedy that have ingredients that can clear hyperpigmentation. Ingredients that will get rid of wrinkles on the skin. Ingredients that also will help to get rid of large open pores. This remedy she used for about three to four weeks. And I'm going to insert a picture right here. Take a look at this. This is the picture she sent me this morning showing me the difference. And take a look. You can clearly see side by side how well this works on the skin. Now, everyone's skin is different. However, what do you have to lose trying this on the skin? Absolutely nothing. This is a remedy that I personally like to use on my skin. It clear my skin. It keep my skin cool and calm. Now, guess what, guys? The main ingredient I have in this remedy is aloe vera gel. I use the Chichi Beauty aloe vera gel to make this remedy. Aloe vera gel is amazing for the skin. You can actually use aloe vera gel to make a moisturizer. You can use it to make a serum, but more so, you can also use it to make an effective moisturizer. So if you're interested in this remedy, if you're interested in this homemade moisturizer using aloe vera gel, that can help to transform your skin, clear your skin up really, really quick, then follow me to the kitchen. I'm going to share the full detail recipe and I'm also going to share some tips along the way of how to get the best result using this moisturizer. Now if you're interested in the aloe vera gel that I use in this recipe, it's in the description box are right beside your video that you're watching. This is the Chichi Beauty aloe vera gel from Alex Maxi. Now let's get in the kitchen and start whipping this up. Now the, to make the remedy, I'm going to be using a small bowl. And my first ingredient is going to be some green tea. Today I'm going to be using a tea bag. And green tea is rich in antioxidant. Antioxidant that help to reduce wrinkles and fine lines on the skin. Antioxidant that help your skin to get that natural glow. I'm using one tea bag, which is about a teaspoon of the green tea. For this recipe, you can substitute green tea with some matcha powder. What I'm going to do, I'm going to brew the green tea. So I'm going to reach for some water and I'm going to pour about two tablespoons, what make that three tablespoons of hot water over the green tea. I'm going to give it a stir and brew in the green tea. Now you can choose to make this a couple hours ahead or brew it for about five to ten minutes because you want it to be cooled. So once you set it aside to brew, it's going to take about ten minutes or so to cool. Now, once our green tea has been cooled, I'm going to reach for some rose water and I'm going to use about a tablespoon of the rose water. Pour that into the bowl with the green tea. I'm giving it a stir. And then I'm going to strain. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to strain. You can also switch out the green tea for coffee. Now once this is done, this is what we're using for our moisturizer. So now let's reach for a clean bowl. And my first ingredient is going to be aloe vera gel. Today we're using the Chichi Beauty aloe vera gel. And this is 99% pure aloe vera gel, smoothing, conditioning, and it's good for repairing the skin. So what we're going to use about a tablespoon of the aloe vera gel and we're going to add this to the bowl. So one tablespoon of the aloe vera gel and what we're going to do, we're going to reach for our green tea rose water mixture and we're going to pour about a tablespoon of the green tea rose water mixture in the bowl with the aloe vera gel. And then we're going to slowly mix the two together, blending the aloe vera gel and the green tea. 
now totally dissolve the aloe vera gel in the mixture now take a look what you're seeing here guys the green tea when mixed in the aloe vera gel is going to form a jelly like consistency this you can also use directly on the skin as a serum you can use this mixture right here as a serum so basically today I'm giving you a two in one there is no oil in this one as yet just mix in green tea rose water and aloe vera gel and there you have your serum consistency now we're making a moisturizer so my next ingredient is going to be some coconut oil and today I'm using the Chichi Beauty coconut oil pure and natural this is organic coconut oil and it helps a lot moisture in the skin it's good for dark spot dry itchy skin and to reduce wrinkles it is also good for skin and hair and also help as a massaging oil it is also one of the better oil to use for dry skin you can also use the coconut oil to lock the moisture in the skin so we're going to be using about a tablespoon of the coconut oil and let's just pour this in this coconut oil I have a dropper so you can choose to measure it and it also comes in a dark glass giving it longer shelf life so one tablespoon of the coconut oil and my next oil is going to be some aloe vera oil aloe vera oil is a great oil for dry flaky skin pure natural aloe vera oil aloe vera oil is good for your hair your nails your skin dry itchy scalp it is just a good oil for lightening and brightening and getting rid of hyperpigmentation good for acne and best of all it also have hydrating properties and it have antibacterial properties the chichi beauty aloe vera oil so what i'm going to do i'm going to use the same amount one tablespoon of the aloe vera oil a full dropper of this is a teaspoon so two full dropper is one tablespoon and one tablespoon of our aloe vera oil also in a dark glass bottle so you can have a longer shelf life so now we are mixing aloe vera gel we're mixing rose water green tea coconut oil and aloe vera oil blend and blend well if you have a whisk you can also choose to whisk this this is gonna form a gel like consistency this is a moisturizer that you can use for dry skin you can use this for hyperpigmentation on the skin you can use it for reducing wrinkles and fine lines on the skin you can use this to just basically transform the skin and take a look at our moisturizer our anti-aging moisturizer this moisturizer is also great if you have large pores and you're trying to get rid of them now let me pour this in a small container just pour this out and take a look at that amazing make sure to get everything out this is also good for this time of year when you have dry ends you can use this moisturizer to reduce wrinkles from your ends and get rid of dry rough flaky ends take a look here we have our moisturizer now you can choose to double up on the ingredient if you're looking to make more this you do not have to keep in the refrigerator keep it on your countertop and then use it on your face so do not click off let me show you how to use this for best result now to use your aloe vera moisturizer all you need is about two to three drops like i'm showing here and then you're just gonna rub it in your hands and it's not greasy at all not greasy at all and then you're just gonna press it on the skin so just press it on the skin you can also take this down on the neck and decollete make sure to start with clean skin refreshes hydrate reduce wrinkles and fine lines clear hyperpigmentation get rid of dry rough skin and leave the skin with a natural radiant glow